Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hungry Hauler. We seem to have a lot of time on our hands to sit at home and cook a lot, so and I'm getting bored for not doing anything. We're still waiting on our truck to be fixed, and uh, so I figure why not make a video. We do have a channel, you know. So, um, so today, <laughs> today we're going to be making, Melissa's in the background, so... Uh, today we are going to make it, what's it called? Easy Honey Garlic Pork Chops. Easy Honey Garlic Pork Chops. It's from a recipe that's online, just like everybody else. I thought it would kind of be kind of a neat little thing to do is to, well, I'm not a chef. I can't make up recipes. We all get recipes from a book or online or something, but this is one we pulled online. We have, we have pork chops, and we're going, we wanted a new recipe, and... We looked it up just like everybody else does, and we're just going to try it out. And at the end of the video, we'll tell you whether or not it's good or not. So, um, easy enough. This is really kind of simple. We've got to have, what are we having today? Pork chops? Rice. Rice asparagus. and asparagus. Maybe so, uh, we always do our asparagus in the oven, and um, uh, usually we wrap it in bacon or something like that. I love it that way. So, anyways, and those are real simple, too. Uh, so, we've got our, our pork chops. The recipe calls for two... I think two pork or four pork chops. I four think. Four pork chops were done. Four, but these are smaller pork chops than what the well, at least what the recipe shows. So um, we're actually making eight in total. Uh, we've got another package over there, but I just figured it'd be simpler just to show you these. So we got our pork chops. I always try to dry my meat when I take it out of the wrapper. Usually it's got water, blood, whatever it is on it, and don't I anymore? I've been practicing just just wiping it off. So get you get you a paper towel. And just damp dry them, and I've already done these once, so just to just to show you. And I got my pans back here. Um, I've got them in iron skillets because part of this re uh, 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 part of the recipe is is that they go into the oven. So when you cook it here, you'll sear them here, and make your sauce here. And once all that's done, you put your pork chops back in there, and it goes in the oven. But we'll talk about there in a minute. That's why I've got it in iron skillets, not just plain old kitchen skillets. So right now, we've got uh, olive oil takes uh it's worth basically doubling the recipe so two tablespoons in each one so um, there you go if you go over a little bit so what no big deal so there's that and let that oil heat up in just a minute, and what we're going to do is we'll season these and just sear them on both sides. And we're going to completely cook the, the pork chops, of course, that's what, according to the recipe. So we're just going to sear on, on both sides and then take them back off. And then we're going to use what, leave that grease inside there, and we're going to make a sauce out of that. So we're just going to season with a little bit of, of uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Nothing, nothing real heavy, and a little bit of garlic. You do both sides, but uh, I always like to kind of just press them spices into the meat. Just really push it in. So there's that. We'll get the. Okay, we're back. We got the pork chops seasoned. I'm gonna get ready to throw them into a pan. And like I said, we've got them, we've already got them preheated. I'll already go ahead and, or go ahead and turn your oven on and get it preheated about 350. And uh, turn that fan down so you can hear me. But uh, uh, we're gonna sear the uh, pork chops now. Okay, we're just supposed to sear them. We got the oil in there. We'll go ahead and, I'll put the, uh, Four in this one and four in the other. Ow. This one's not even. Ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, let's turn that one down. Turn your heat turn your heat about Ooh. Boy, that's a poppin'. I had a lid handy. These here are probably going to sear pretty quick. These fans 
This one here is a big one. It's taking a minute to get it good and hot. You got your little handles in there. The... No. <laughs> you got the uh, iron skills. These little doohickeys right here, they just slide right on there. You can leave them on there the entire time. They're awesome. Little hot hands. All right. Boy, that smells good already. All right, that one's not quite seared as much as I'd want. But it's seared enough. Let these go through. Let's do that one a little bit longer. Okay, and I'll come back to you and show you what, what they look like in just a second. Okay, see how nicely these here are seared? That looks good. We're not going to cook these all the way. They're not going to be, um, um, we're not cooking them here to, to cook them all the way through. They'll finish cooking the oven. So we don't want to overcook them here. So let's check the underneath. Let's sear these up just a little bit more. Bump that heat up a little bit. And these here haven't flipped yet. Let's put in flip those. And see they're searing just a little bit. It's good. A little bit of searing. Now all these little particles you see down here in the bottom, as the recipe says, I guess in here the little particles to keep all that. So when you take these out, you don't discard that, don't clean your pan out, you want to leave that in there because that's going to be incorporated into your sauce. And uh, when we get these out, they're going to we'll scrape the bottom of the pan and get all that stuff loose, so it does become part of the sauce. Let these go for just another minute. Yeah, okay, they're just about there. These here, we got a little bit of searing going on the bottom of them. I don't want to overcook them. If you notice, it's still, if you can see, it's still a little pink there. So that's what we want. We don't want to, like I said, we don't want to cook it all the way. This one here is searing pretty good. We'll take that one off. Just like that. Perfect, just like that. Okay, we've got our pork chops out. And there's our pan. See all the little scrumps, just little flavor crystals in there. And scrape that and scrape the bottom of that pan like that. And just gets a lot of that stuff loose. And you ain't got to clean the pan. And just break that stuff loose. Okay, now we're going to start making our sauce. Uh, okay, so what's the first thing? We got our grease in the oven or in the stove, or in the pan. <laughs> we got our grease in the pan. I should just show you that. Now what do we got now? How much? One tablespoon of butter. Okay, one tablespoon of butter. Now, uh, Brady can't have butter, he can't have no dairy, and then we try to make as much as we can without any kind of dairy. Uh, he's got a lot of allergies, so and we're using margarine, and so one tablespoon of margarine, and it's already warm. One tablespoon of margarine there, and one tablespoon of margarine there. Okay, now what? One pot now, then you add the garlic, minced garlic. How much garlic? Six cloves. Six cloves, so uh, that would be three tablespoons. I think it's teaspoons. Three teaspoons. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be three teaspoons of garlic per pan. So one, two, three. Which is a lot of garlic. One, two, three, okay. Alright, so we'll cook that for about 40 seconds or whatever. Now we need to add. So we get a quarter cup of honey. Saute these, right? The garlic. So get that butter a melting and saute your garlic. But don't burn it. But don't burn it. Garlic. Sorry. If you go to, uh, if you go to, uh, you ever saute garlic and onions together, you know that garlic, it'll, it'll toast up real quick and then it'll ruin it. You're done with it. You gotta start over. So we don't want to, uh, scorch our garlic. We got our pans turned down to medium low. So in between low and medium, it's right there in the middle. So medium low. Mix that garlic all up in with all the little flavor crystals in the bottom. Get that flavor going real good. 
And that garlic's starting to look a, look a little toasty. I got a quarter cup of honey. Okay, this is what our garlic looking like, and they're getting a little toasty. You see that right there? They're a little toasty. So that's okay. I mean, they get worse, but that'll be okay. For the most part, it looks fine. This here is a little toasty too. That's good. So it's not overkill, but we'll just do that. It's a lot of garlic. This is going to be real good. <laughs> okay, and now we got one fourth a cup of honey. Pour that right in there on that one. And we'll get one more. Woo, there we go. <laughs> and one in that one. Okay. Uh, the recipe actually called for uh, it says water or chicken broth. Chicken, water or chicken broth. And we're going to use chicken broth. Okay, and it calls for two tablespoons. It actually calls for two tablespoons of, of rice wine vinegar. We just got rice vinegar right now. We've got some red wine vinegar up there, but uh, didn't want to mess the taste of that up. So, one, two, one. Two. There we go. Now, okay, and now we cook this on medium high heat, which it would be a little high. It gets a little crazy in here. We'll just put it on medium. So, medium high heat until it gets thick. See how watery that is? So, we'll cook this until it's until it thickens down. All right, for this recipe, well, this is basically all the stuff, all the ingredients that you're going to need. is obviously your pork chops, salt and pepper for seasoning, and salt and pepper and garlic powder. Garlic powder for your seasoning on here, and olive oil. There's, we're using uh, rice vinegar, but it calls for rice wine vinegar, but any, I, it says any white vinegar is fine. So, or apple cider vinegar. Or apple cider vinegar. So we got rice vinegar. Uh, minced garlic. I could have uh, minced some my own garlic. I should do that a lot, but uh, it was just easier to do this and it takes so much of it. And I didn't feel like mincing a whole bunch of garlic. So, anyways, and honey. And that's pretty much it on this recipe. Water. And water. Uh, or water chicken or chicken broth. broth. So, um, the recipe calls for water or chicken broth, or chicken broth or water. And we just so happened to use, uh, we didn't have enough chicken broth with us, so we're just using water. Um, so I'll put the, I'll try to put a list of the ingredients on here. Okay, after a couple of minutes, this is what it's looking like. See how much thicker it's getting? There's what that's beautiful. Beautiful. That's what you're looking for. See how it leaves a trail? Like if you're making the gravy, that's what it looks like. There you go. Sweet gravy. Now we're going to take our, uh, our uh, pork chops and put them back, in, back into this. If you notice our pork chops sitting in the tray right here, see all these juices? Those that's fat. It's okay. Just come out of that pork chops. I'm gonna dump that all back into those pans right here in just a second too. So we're not gonna lose any flavor. Okay, at this point we've got our uh, pork chops back into the pans, and what I done was I just I laid them all out, and once I got them laid out, I flipped them because it'll kind of bathe them a little bit and flip them, and then we're gonna take a little bit of the of this sauce that we've got going in the bottom here and just kind of splash it splash it up on top there we just want to put a little bit up on top so when it goes into the oven it uh it'll be completely engulfed in it and we'll get them in over here in just a second okay we got them basted pretty good don't they look so good they're not even done yet and we're going to put these in the oven for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. And what, what we're going to do is we're going to try to char them just a little bit. It'll really get that sauce cooked in real good. So, let's get drop this in here. There's a one. And there's a two. 
there we go. Look, they look so happy. And we're going to set our timer for 15 minutes. Come back and check them. Well, okay, and this is what they look like come out the oven. Gosh, they look good. I garnished them with a little bit of parsley. And we can't wait to eat. We're just waiting for everything else to get done. We got the rice on. We got the making some macaroni and cheese. And we got asparagus in the uh, little cooker there. So uh, we'll tell you how it turns out here in just a minute. Okay, we're done with dinner and it was pretty good, pretty good. Um, I think I overcooked the pork chops a little bit. I'd probably uh, maybe put them in the oven for maybe about 10 minutes. And probably uh, they were just a little bit tough, a little bit dry, but that's okay. They were still pretty good. The sauce was pretty good and the sauce tasted like it was a little overcooked too. But hey, it's all a learning process, ain't it? It's just fun. I just wanted to take a recipe off of uh, off of the internet and uh, just like everybody else does. And, just put it on here because I didn't have nothing else to do. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope, uh, um, hope maybe you'll get out and try it. Uh, try this one. I think it's pretty good. It's got a lot of potential. Maybe next time I maybe I'll put the, I love to put the cooking stuff on the grill anyways. And maybe next time I'll put the pork chops on the grill. So, uh, again, to watch, thanks for watching. And like, share, subscribe, and, and all that happy stuff. And, uh, God bless you all, and I hope everybody's safe and everybody's uh, everybody's doing okay. God bless you, and God bless your families.